Welcome Crusader fans to another edition of Inside Valpo Athletics. Hope you've been enjoying your summer. I'm Aaron Levitt and joining me today I'm happy to welcome the new softball head coach here at Valparaiso University, Kate Stake. Kate, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. It's been a uh, whirlwind for you I'm sure over the last couple weeks. Uh, this process of uh, going through the interviews and getting hired. Um, I just want to start out with why Valpo? Obviously a lot of jobs open every summer. Um, you know, I know you're from the Midwest, but a lot of job opportunities even just in the Midwest. What attracted you to Valparaiso University, to the softball program here at Valpo? Uh, well, like you alluded to, first in the Midwest, that's where I'm from. My family lives up in Chicago, um, and I really, I wanted to come home. And I don't just mean home because my parents live there, but home like when I'm sitting at a table for one last night and the strangers who come up and talk to me because I'm wearing Valpo, or the conversations I have with the waiter. Uh, home is the Midwest mentality, it's how people act here, um, and, and that's really what attracted me to the area. Um, Valpo in general, um, I think what I like so much about Valpo is it's a combination of athletics and academics. I don't want to be at a school where a softball team makes a student athlete finish class by 11 or 12 and they can only major in certain things that don't conflict with practice. Um, I'm not trying to produce professional softball players. They're going to have a full life uh, after Valpo that doesn't have to do with softball. So I like a school that has an academic and athletic balance. You come to Valpo with a good bit of coaching experience, a number of uh, stops along the way. For those who don't know, three years at Eastern Illinois three years at the United States Military Academy, better known as Army, and then the last two years at Hofstra, which a lot of fans might not realize is really one of the premier mid-major softball programs in the country. Um, in those stops, what have you gained from each of them or as a whole from your experience as an assistant coach, which has prepared you well to take this step, the first step in becoming a head coach? Sure. Um, I've worked for and, and with... Um some of the best coaches uh, in the country, in my opinion. And, and one thing about having a variety of experience and not just spending, spending eight years in one place is that I've really come to understand the difference between style and substance. And, and what the good coaches have in common is they have, they have a common substance, but, but the style changes. Um, so what I've, what I've learned is how to teach the same thing different ways. And, and part of that is I have um, I've had 89 student athletes play for me uh, in my eight years because I've switched schools um, and those are 89 different people who process information differently so I've had to learn a lot of different ways uh, to teach hitting uh, to teach defense based on on how it was gonna best come across to them obviously a big part of being a head coach or any coach these days is the recruiting process uh, you gotta get the best players out of high school to give yourself the best chance on the uh, on the field. Sure. What when you go out on the recruiting trail? What are you looking for in potential student athletes to attract them to Valparaiso? Um, well, first, I, I'm really excited to be back in the Midwest because I think the Midwest is such a softball hotbed, and I'm excited to try to compete with with the other softball powerhouses and on the college level to to keep them at home. You know, instead of getting sending them down to the SEC, let's keep them let's keep them up here. Um, but I also think, you know, Valpo has so much to offer in that it's a small, private, academic institution. Uh, and so because we offer something unique, I think we're going to have a reach not only in the Midwest, but, but nationally. And I think that's obvious already looking at the roster I have right now. Um, in terms of actual uh, skill set that I'm looking for recruiting, uh, I always want to get the best pitcher. Pitching is a huge part of this game. Um, and in terms of defense and hitting, flexibility and versatility is, is paramount. We recruit very early these days, um, and I don't know what my team's going to look like four years down the road. Uh, so we need to recruit athletes who can play multiple positions. I want to recruit a softball player uh, and teach them, teach them how to play whatever position uh, is going to best help us. Um, in that same regard, uh, a character is, is incredibly important to me. Um, and, you know, I like to say that I, I can teach you to be a good softball player, I, I can't teach you to be a good person. Um, and I'm going to be spending four years with this player, um, and I want, I want good people in my program because I want to help good people become successful in softball and in life. 
looking forward to the spring, obviously a long way to go before we get there. But when fans start to come out to home games, start to you know pack the softball field, see the Crusaders play, what's your vision for what they're going to see from a team coached by you out on the field? Um, well, I don't know my players too well yet, so I think it's important that I am adaptable. Do I have a plan? Absolutely. Uh, but I haven't seen how fast we are or, or how far we hit a ball. Uh, statistics only show me so much. Game film that I've been able to see only show me so much. So um, I'll, ex I'll answer you in what my ideal is, but that might not be what the product looks like right away. Um, Pitching-wise, I want to throw strikes. We need to have command and control. Um, I think the statistics is something like if the pitcher throws a first pitch strike, there's a 90% chance it's either an out or an 0-1 count after that. Um, and those are odds that I like. So we want to we wanna put the ball in the strike zone. We want to make the players work to get on base. We don't want them to stand there with their bat on their shoulder. Uh, defensively, we're going to be very fundamentally sound. Uh, but on top of that, we're going to know where to go. And even at the highest level, sometimes people aren't going the right places. We're going to have the backups. We're going to know what the secondary play is, the tertiary play if we need it. Um, we're going to be playing the game the right way. We're going to be playing with a lot of instinct. I like to teach instinctive play. Um, you know, uh, you don't want to just say, if the ball's hit to me, I'm throwing home. Because if the ball's not hit hard enough, that's not your play. It's first base. So we don't want to have a playbook. We want, we want them to be able to be instinctive. Um, and then offensively, I love to I love to push the envelope. I love to base run. I love to read defenses and see that the shortstop's not going to beat my player on second base from stealing third. Um, and and again, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily green light mentality, but it's uh, read the ball in the dirt, read the change up, take the next base. And then going forward, ultimately, what are your goals? for the Valparaiso softball program coming in as head coach? Sure. Um, as a team this year, uh, we want to be uh, in, in the Horizon League championship game. We want to get our seniors to, to regionals and finish them off um, with as successful a season as they can help carry us to. Uh, in the future, as a program, what I see is us competing with the best teams in the Midwest. Um, I want Valpo to be right up there with, with DePaul as one of those private institutions that has good softball. Um, and I think, I think Valpo can be there. I think Valpo can be the Hofstra. And I know maybe in the Midwest people don't know Hofstra as much, but as you alluded to, Hofstra is a top 25 softball program. And they're a small academic institution. And the reason they're very good is because they have excellent coaches, they have recruited very well, and they work very hard. Um, and I think bringing that to Valpo, we can be um, you know, in the next several years, a, a top 50 program, um, we can be competing uh, as one of the best in the Midwest, and then hopefully we bring in those couple players that are really going to be game changers and, and take us to the level that, that Hofstra worked for over, you know, a couple decades. Great to hear. Thank you for joining me here today, Coach Sake. Uh, happy to have you on board and looking forward to the coming season with you at the helm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Coach Sake on Twitter. Quite simple to remember her handle, at Valpo Coach. Also at Valpo Softball for all your team-related news and for all the athletics-related news at Valpo Athletics. Until next time, I'm Aaron Levitt. Go Crusaders.